All right, this is a uh, continuation of the balance staff I've been making. I had a video about uh, three videos ago where I was making a balance staff for a 21 Jewel uh, pocket watch. Um, so I finished the staff and I test fitted it into um, a couple of, uh, into the upper uh, balance cock and the lower Jewel. So the upper balance cock is cracked in two places. So that would have to be replaced. Uh, but the balance fits perfect. I looked at it under a, under a microscope, and I checked it up on the uh, lower uh, jewel under a microscope as well. So the balance uh, pivots have been uh, trimmed to the right size, which was 11, so 0.11 millimeters. Um, that's a picture of the balance on the on the uh, lower left hand side and upper side. I'm giving you a full view, and I'll show you a couple of shots of the jewel in a second. So as you would look at the upper balance cock, this would be the upper jewel, uh, and the balance staff that I made um, would fit into here. And as you can see from this photo, it's cracked on both sides. Not good. And here is a picture of the balance uh, fitting into the, this upper jewel. So it was the right size at 11.11 millimeters. Um, so the balance I made did fit in nicely. I had to trim it today. So here's a picture of the lower balance uh, jewel, and it's not in bad condition, as you can see. Uh, so let's look at the picture of the balance fitting in here. And there's the balance in place, and it did fit nicely into that uh, jewel, and this jewel is in okay condition, I'd say. It's an old jewel, but uh, it's in okay condition. So the balance does fit on both sides. Confirmed. And there's a picture of the balance itself. Very hard to get that in focus, by the way. And here's the, for the ends of my tweezers going in there, just so you know this is a live shot. And you can see the uh, tips of that balance, uh, how small they are. If you look at the uh, size of the tweezers on the end, and these are fairly small tweezers. Uh, this is the old, I'll just see if I can slide this one in. This is the old, old balance here um, that, that I had it a broken uh, pivot on one side. So these uh, this, uh, pivots fit nicely into the jewel holes. Um, so I'm going to stake the uh, balance uh, back on um, and the roller table and all the rest of it. And then um, I'm not sure whether I could, uh, whether I want to fit it or not without replacing that jewel. So to finish that balance, I didn't do much more than use this stone on the uh, lathe that's right over here, right there, and just holding it in my hands kind of loosely like this, and then moving it back and forth ever so slightly and try to keep the uh, try to keep it going uh, smooth back and forth and not at an angle or anything. And I worked the pivots on both sides. It took about 15 minutes, I think, for each pivot to get it down to the right size. Um, and you really have to focus and I've I use these goggles here. I'll just bring them over here. I use these goggles. They're really cheap and uh, One thing I find is if you put some uh, black tape over one of them uh, the one you're not using uh, It really allows you to focus on the object with this one here So if you don't have the tape and just it's just open first of all you can get some stuff in your eye but uh, secondly it really doesn't allow you to concentrate on that pivot and you really have to concentrate on that pivot in order to to work it down to the right size and then as I worked it down to the right size um, I was using my my pivot gauge here and there's the gauge and I needed to get it down to 11 right there so I, I fit it into 13 and then 12 and then finally I got it into 11 no problem um, and I made sure that then I fitted it onto the uh, to the balance the balance bridge or balance cock here into this jewel right here and I stood it up I showed you some pictures earlier um, but that jewel's cracked, so that that's going to have to be replaced. Um, and then the balance I have here, or sorry, I have the 21 jewel movement here, and I fit it into into the jewel here and just stood it up, nice and easy. Always picking the jewel, the balance, uh, the uh, balance staff up with Rodico really lightly like that, right? So I'm not going to force the pivots um, and accidentally bend the pivots while I'm working with it. So I did that. Um, I picked that up with my tweezers and kind of dropped it into the hole. But again, holding it really lightly. So, so the um, if the if the pivot were to hit any metal, the balance would fall out of my tweezers, and that's kind of what I want. I don't want the 
the pivot to be to be uh, stuck and then my tweezers to move and snap the pivot off so it, it's best just to use Rodico and hold it with Rodico um, especially when you're putting it into the lathe collets as well um, I use Rodico to put it in the lathe collets and then I center it and I've shown that before so so that's the technique um, there's my my wonderful lathe here with my leather belts um, and my counter shafts over here you can't really see that but uh, I use this lathe and I still have the collet in there for the for the lower part of the staff um, and then keep measuring it with the seats, a jeweling uh, tool or gauge. So I can use this and away we go, right? Patent leather, crocodile. I don't know what this is made of. Anyway, uh, that's, that's that. Um, now I'm going to uh, reassemble the, the, uh, the balance onto the balance staff. So I'll be uh, staking that back on. And I'll stake that back on. And then I'll stake the uh, roller table and the, the safety roller back on onto the staff and then I've got myself a complete staff um, and then the hairspring needs to go back on too but I'll make sure that that hairspring is uh, all within the uh, there's no bead error issues with that hairspring as I put that on and then I'll return it to the uh, gentleman who gave me the uh, the job of, of putting the uh, to so taking the old staff or the old balance off the old broken staff and replacing it and I made a new a complete new balance staff which was quite a job um, and but there still is that problem of replacing that jewel so I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave that up to him or not because he said he doesn't have the tools to do some of this stuff but but I'm not sure so I'll get in contact with him but you that jewel which means the setting as well needs to be replaced in here which is not, not that easy a job so uh, anyway that's the story for now but I want to get the balance back together Perhaps I can throw it in and see if it ticks for a few swings. Even with the broken jewel, it'll still probably spin on for me. So that's it for now. Okie dokie. The first uh, job here is to uh, put this balance into the right hole in this uh, staking set. So I've got the uh, staking set set up here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll set the balance. I'm going to be uh, putting the balance staff onto this particular um, let me grab this again. Oh, oh, it's got legs. It's got legs and it knows how to use them. There, I want this to be sitting like this, right? So I've got to um, grab this little balance here without causing an issue. And I've got to fit it into one of the holes here. So I'm thinking this one here it might fit. And that is too big. So we're going to go down another one. That's too big. This is Goldilocks time again. Down another one. That one looks like it fits, but it actually doesn't because it's it's bottoming out before it hits the rim. So you want that to hit the rim. So then you go to the next one here. So that's the one there. That's the one it needs to be sitting in. Um, and then I've got to make sure that that is centered. So what I do to do that is I take a stake. I take my centering stake to start off with and I just have to make sure I'm in the right hole here as I go down so I just get it close to close to that centering here and I just get, tighten it up just a little tiny bit. Take that out, uh, remove the balance, you just have to poke, poke it on the end like that and then lift it up like so. And there now it's, it's out and, and then when I put the centering stake in it's loosen this up in the back like that and then place the centering stake in and just push it down nicely and then center and then tighten the uh, staking set anvil on the back here so that's perfectly aligned now and then I have to take the uh, now I gotta remember which hole it was again because there's a bunch of holes there so I usually look at my uh, staking my uh, staking set and I can see a little inconsistent little mark right there so I just take a look at that mark and so take this and then put it right in here and just let it drop in the hole and make sure it's in there nicely so that's that's in there really well and then I have to find a stake that fits um, fits over this over this uh, metal here and enough to get the balance in place right so so I'm going to find my stake first 
And so what am I going to do? All right, I think I've found first shot, found a stake. It should be flat on the end here. And I think this stake is magnetic because it looked like it grabbed it on the way out. So, so that goes over nicely like this. And then see how it's stuck to the side of the uh, side of the pivot here because it's slightly magnetic. So uh, that shouldn't matter because the uh, I'll be demagnetizing everything anyway. So, so that should be fine. Um, then when I put the balance over like this, just do this carefully, it should fit in nicely and the balance is, the rim is facing upward. Don't screw up which way the rim goes because then you're back at it all over again. So there we go. The balance is in there now. And if I tack that down, I'm looking very carefully here to see how much room I have. Um, I'm going to tilt it sideways for a second. All right, so that looks pretty good there, and I don't have to worry about. I'm just going to get my my Binford 4000 hammer here in the background. Uh, I didn't think I'd be making this video today, but here we go. So um, before I pound that on, do I have to put the uh, have to determine whether I got to put the roller table on first? Um, I don't think so. I think this goes on first. Flip it the other way, and then tap the roller table on. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because if I put the roller table on first, um, then I'm trying to line up the arms of the balance while the roller table is backwards. So that won't work. So this has to go on first. And then I tap the roller table on. So, so put this over here like that. And then I'm going to tap it a few times here just to see if it goes down. And then lift that up. And there you go. So the balance is staked on to the new, um, to the new, uh, there we go. And then I look at it sideways to make sure it's flush. Um, it's got to go down just a bit more. So I'm going to put that back in. And I think what the problem is, is my stake isn't big enough to go over the rim because there's a little rim left over there and the stake has got to be big enough to go over the rim so um, I gotta make sure that's the right hole I got it in and it is so I'm gonna pick a bigger stake to go over the rim and see if I can pound it down just a bit more so there we go I've picked myself up a bigger stake and it should go down just a bit more uh, it should be over right over the hole and everything. Now just pound it just a little tiny bit. Don't have to go too hard here. Now, see if that goes down any further. Doesn't look like it actually. Well, maybe it did. I have to pick it up again and have a poo, a boo at it. Uh, let me see. I just have to see if that's flush. That looks fairly flush. Yeah, that looks about as flush as it's going to get, folks. So that's pretty, pretty darn flush in there. I'd have to pound the crap out of it to get it more flush. And I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a rivet there, so I can, I can spread that rivet now. I can. Um, so it's pretty flush now, so I want to, I want to spread the rivet, so, so I can. Uh, pound on the rivet itself, which means I have to have a stake that goes in there, right in there nicely over the, uh, so the stake's probably smaller than the last one I had even, right? So I'm going to go pick another stake. And it should be a round, a domed on the end stake. Okay, here's the stake I picked here. As you can see, the stake has got a little bit of a dome on the end of it. So it's not flat and that will spread the rivet. So let me just uh, put that back in here again. Make sure that's a tight fit. I just want to make sure that that's really tight. So what I do is just realign that again. Um, never hurts to check it again. Right? So I'll just remove the balance quickly. Remove the stake I believe I'm using. Make sure that my, make sure this is centered again. Put that in. Uh, put the balance back in place. 
It never hurts to turn it a few times either. So there we go. So just to hit it and then turn it a bit. I'm not sure if this balance is warped at all either. I should have checked it before I put it in, but if it is, I can fix that as well. So, and then I do like to do this. I'm gonna tell you something here. I'm gonna tell you something. I like to, when I'm doing this, is check the uh, check the stake up close because if the stake is too big, check the play on the stake, like the end shake of the stake. Because if the stake is too big, then it won't spread the rivet really well. Oh my god, that's close. That is so, so close. I don't know if I can get a stake that's any tighter than that. Let me see if I can get some progress here. There we go. I'll just turn that a little bit. Now I can see that that stake is not flushed down, which means it is touching the metal, and I can spread the rivet that way. So let me just tap it a bit here and have a look while I'm tapping. It looks like that, that worked, I think. It looks like it spread the... Uh, Spread the rivet a bit. Look in there again. Have a look. Um, friggin' perfect. So that's perfect. So by spreading that rivet right there, get that in there. By spreading that that rivet right there, um, it also moved that the balance down. So it's nice and nice and snug, as you can see with the uh, with the back here. So that's perfect. So that's. So that's done, that's in place. Again, I'll have to look at the balance and make sure it still has, it's still true to flat. Because sometimes when you tap these balances down, um, they have issues. Uh, before I do anything though, I'm gonna see if this thing fits in the, uh, in the watch before I even put the uh, roller table on. Um, so here we go. That staking was very successful. Let's push that balance uh, nicely onto the new, um, the new whatever I just made. <laughs> it's funny how I, you know, I, I do all this stuff, but sometimes I forget the names of these things. So I'm looking at this again. There still seems to be a little bit of a space there. Uh, it's not much. I'm going to spin the balance anyway and see if I got a successful uh, fit here. Yeah, it might have been the metal I took off and. So I'll just put this down in here. Now right now it should just spin freely because there's no uh, there is no uh, there's no lower roller table for this thing right now. I'm trying to find the jewel hole. There we go. There's the jewel, and if I put this on loosely, I don't want to ruin those pivots, eh? so I'm just going to be very careful here. And that'll fit into the old thing, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. So there you go. I'm going to get my puffer out and show you. This is a homemade balance stuff. Got a little bit of a warble on the uh, balance itself. Not much though. Nothing that can't be fixed. But there you go. So, so I know that that, that will um, stay in place now. So uh, that's... Uh, spinning nicely in the uh, in the watch uh, so now I just have to put on the the impulse or the roller table and the lower um, safety roller now one thing is that uh, I don't want to put those in at the moment I'm gonna cut this video off right now just to show you how to stake that on which is good um, 
but as you recall, the joule, the impulse joule on the roller table was crap. So I can use terms like crap, I guess. So I need to actually replace the impulse joule on the roller table. So I got a little bit of a wobble on this. So maybe uh, that was from before, I'm not sure, but I can fix that wobble. I'm pretty good at wobble fixing. Anyway, so that's good. But the main point here is that these uh, the pivots on both sides are bang on the money, which is nice. Look at, look at them sliding right now. It's perfect. That upper jewel still needs to be replaced though because there's cracks on both sides and that will eventually wear that pivot out. And you don't want that to happen. That would be that would be sad. Sad, sad, sad. So I'm going to uh, take the balance, this balance uh, cock off right now, get it out of the way. Um, and take this very nicely staked on balance. And again, I'll put that in my poising, or not my poising tool, but my caliper, and just thumb bend that into place if it's moved at all. So I'm not sure if it has. I'll have to look look down to see if the arms have moved a bit. That's usually what happens, and sometimes it's due to staking or or whatever. But anyway, I'll have a look at that. So that's it for today. I'll publish this video so you guys can watch that. Um, and uh, I'll go from there. So thanks for watching my channel. Let me get my, uh, let me flip, flip to the other view here if I can. You think I can flip to the other view? There we go. There's the view right there. I'm sitting down really low. <laughs> so can't see a damn thing. Anyway, so thanks for watching my channel. That's uh, the next step is to actually uh, re-shellac the impulse jewel back on. <laughs> Uh, I showed you that a couple of videos back, um, so because I can't really, if I put that roller table on right now and line it up, um, I think it's going to be tricky to uh, to shellac that jewel back on. I can do it, I, I can do it, but I'd rather have a good solid jewel in there and then shellac it on because then I got to put the safety roller right below it. So, and then the hairspring, hairspring's not a not a problem. That's going to go on really nicely. And plus, I have to fix that little tiny bit of. A, wobble in the uh, in the balance not sure if that was from from tapping down or, or whether that was there before it's hard to say sometimes so so get at it get at it and uh, thanks again thanks for watching take off these glasses i can't see a thing thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time oh yeah